the DeWalt DCH481. This is their 60 volt SDS Max rotary hammer drill. Um, it uh, is rated to 1 and 9 16 uh, bit and it has 6.1 joules of force. Now that 6.1 got me because I had a Bosch uh, RH540M and that was also at 6.1 but 6.1 pounds of force. This is 6.1 joules. Uh, a joule is about 0.74, one joule is about 0.74 of a pound of force. So that means this thing's actually only four and a half pounds of force compared to the Bosch, which was 6.1 pounds. So it's one of those things where if you don't look closely at it, you get tricked like I did. The Bosch, 6.1 pounds. This one, 6.1 joules. They mess with numbers and, and they try to make things comparable, and it's just not. So when I got it, first thing I noticed was that it seemed like it was vibrating a lot. Second thing I noticed is it seemed just rather anemic compared to the Bosch. Well, after using it a little bit, it was kind of anemic compared to the Bosch. Um, and also the, uh, the chuck, the chuck wobbles. Um, I've got it here and I'm going to turn this on and yeah, you can ignore the Milwaukee bit in a DeWalt tool. Okay, just ignore that. But here, look, look at the chuck and look at the bit and hopefully you can see what I'm talking about as far as the wobbling. This is a brand new bit. It's perfectly straight. I haven't used it to drill, but just to test in some concrete, it's not bent. But the chuck in this DeWalt, even after only using it for about 20 minutes, is uh, it's definitely got a bad wobble to it. So, not impressed. The DCH481, uh, maybe this is just a lemon but it's also just not a very very strong SDS Max tool. I'll probably return it and end up buying the DCH733 uh, which is a, their one and three quarter. I believe it's rated to one and three quarter. Yeah I don't remember maybe it's even one and seven eighths. Anyways I'm gonna try that one out. Love the flex volt tools but occasionally you get one that you're like nah, not gonna cut it and I believe this is one of them. Uh, on the other hand, the Bosch 540-M that I had, that was a really good SDS Max uh, corded drill. For the price, I think I bought it for $230, and uh, that was a really good SDS Max drill. I just really want the capability of cordless. So, let's see what the 733 has, and this guy is going back to Papa.